The Ukrainian leadership is allegedly seriously considering restoring its nuclear arsenal to ensure the protection of the state from Russian aggression. Build tabloid claims that several months ago, a high-ranking Ukrainian official involved in arms supplies told journalists of this publication that Ukraine will not accept a second Russian attack on Kiev and is ready, in such a case, to restore the nuclear weapons that the country renounced in the 1990s as part of the Budapest Memorandum. The interlocutor stated that Ukraine has all the necessary materials and knowledge to restore its nuclear arsenal. It will take only a few weeks to create the first bomb. The official called on Western partners to pay less attention to the Kremlin's red lines and think more about Kyiv's red lines. The publication also mentioned a statement by Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky in Brussels about nuclear weapons and notes that it shocked Western media. The Ukrainian leader said that agreements of the Budapest Memorandum did not work. The condition for Ukraine was to give up its nuclear weapons, and in return, the signatories guaranteed Ukraine's sovereignty within the internationally recognized borders of 1991. How can we trust all the partners who guaranteed the preservation of our territorial integrity? All these agreements did not work, and so it turns out that we have a choice. Either Ukraine will have nuclear weapons, or we must have some kind of alliance, the president said. Up until December the 5th, 1994, Ukraine was officially the third largest nuclear power in the world. However, it is to be noted that while Ukraine physically possessed the weapons and the expertise to develop and maintain them, although the lack of resources would have likely prevented it from doing so, Moscow retained control over these weapons. While a think tank reported that Ukraine possesses no uranium enrichment plant or fuel production facilities for nuclear power plants, where Ukrainian uranium concentrate was shipped to Russia for enrichment and fuel fabrication prior to the 2022 invasion, it's possible the country retained the knowledge base needed to restart its nuclear programs if it so wishes. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un reminded his troops to treat South Korea as a hostile foreign enemy and insisted that the North wouldn't hesitate to attack its rival if the South infringes upon its sovereignty, state media said Friday. Kim's comments at an army headquarters came after North Korea this week confirmed that it revised its constitution to define South Korea as a hostile state and blew up frontline road and rail links that were once connected to the South. The steps punctuated Kim's calls for North Korea to abandon its long-standing goals of reconciling with the South and reflect his intent to escalate tensions and increase leverage amid a deepening stalemate in diplomacy. Analysts see increasing risks of possible clashes along the rival's tense border areas, although it would be highly unlikely for the North to contemplate full-scale attacks in the face of superior US and South Korean forces. During a visit to the headquarters of the North Korean People's Army's Second Corps on Thursday, Kim stressed to troops the importance of understanding that any use of offensive force against the South would constitute a legitimate retaliatory action against the hostile country, not the fellow countrymen. He said the North's detonation of the border road and rail sections on Tuesday demonstrated the North's resolve to cut off persistent, evil, relations with the South which lasted century after century and the complete removal of the useless awareness about fellow countrymen and unreasonable idea of reunification. He said the event was also a declaration that his troops wouldn't hesitate to use physical force against the South, an apparent hostile country, if it violates North Korea's sovereignty, the North's official Korean Central News Agency said. South Korea had no immediate comment on Kim's remarks. North Korea has been making increasingly provocative threats against rival South Korea in recent weeks, including accusing the South of infiltrating drones to drop anti-North Korean propaganda leaflets over Pyongyang this month and threatening to attack if it happens again. South Korea has refused to confirm whether it sent drones but warned that North Korea will face an overwhelming response that would end its regime if the safety of South Korean citizens is threatened. Tensions on the Korean peninsula have spiked since 2022, as Kim used Russia's war on Ukraine as a window to dial up his weapons testing activities and threats. Washington, Seoul and Tokyo have strengthened their combined military exercises in response and took steps to sharpen their nuclear deterrence strategies built around strategic U.S. assets.